welcome, welcome, welcome to the first edition to the Sniper Masterclass series. Finally, after months and months of preparation, we are finally at the point where we're able to get this education out to you guys at a quick pace, as well as supporting you with a great community through this big world and this new journey that you have created. Um, you know, in this series of shows, I'm going to be showing you guys the technicals, uh, as well as the basic understandings of becoming a trader, as well as an investor in the markets. And I'm going to be showing you the tools and the strategies that I use personally myself uh, to get me through these stages. Because, you know, when I started off, a very small amount of money, I didn't really have much. I needed to learn how to make money quite quick. And I started off looking at all of these massive TA guys, and I started looking at all the charts and it was quite daunting to jump on and to see these crazy charts and see all of these indicators. And my charts looked just as crazy in the beginning. And as I started progressing as a trader and getting better in the actual market, I then started to learn that the key is not to have all of this information and this crazy amount to overload your brain. It is actually to be simple, easy, and accurate. And I managed to, to you know, actually simplify this a lot more. And that's what I'm excited to show uh, show the strategy to you guys and how I managed to do it in the last few uh, months as well as the last year itself. First thing, you know, we're gonna be re releasing these videos on a daily basis. We're gonna be getting out the edu education quite quickly. First thing I need you guys to do is make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe. Join the damn family, join the family that's got each other's back and we're literally gonna take over. And secondly, you know, let's blow up Twitter. Now, what am I going to teach you? I'm going to teach you how to become a sniper, right? Let's show Twitter how many snipers are actually out there. Change your name on Twitter to your name, full stop, sniper. Let's blow up Twitter. Let's show them the force that we are creating ourselves and let's get this whole new education run uh, to a massive explosion. Let's get it running, buddy. So the massive, massive, massive tool, my most favorite tool, um, you know, that I've used since day one, and I think it's a big tool you're always going to use. Doesn't matter if you're a trader, doesn't matter if you're an investor, uh, you know, it's a partner of the show, Trading View, guys. This is one that, you know, I think is an absolute must have, and it's something very important. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you how to smoothly navigate your way through the actual platform. You know, you see me using it every day on the show. You see Rand using it every day. And we want to, especially in this video, I just want to make sure that you have a full understanding of how it all works. You've got to learn how to crawl before you walk and understanding the basics. You know, after that, we're then going to go into a lot of depths on all the information that we actually can get in TradingView, all the different techniques, all the different indicators. And we will soon go through that um, as the series progresses. Now, first thing, guys, is if you are brand new to TradingView, we have a link in the description below. And secondly, if you do have a free account at the moment, I also advise you to, to use the description link below and in getting into that. Now, first thing, if you are doing that, is to use a new email. The reason why I'm saying that is because you want to learn how to separate your trading world from your personal world. You want to, you know, TradingView is going gonna, gonna to bombard your emails. It's going to have a lot of alerts going off. It's going to get quite busy. And you don't want to confuse that. Uh, with your actual personal account. Secondly, we are going to be having a lot of giveaways through the TradingView link as well. So that will definitely help and qualify you for that. Uh, and thirdly, we are going to be looking at running really cool specials with TradingView for the Banter fam uh, to help out wherever we can. And, you know, fourthly, showing support to the channel. And, you know, we, everything we do is for free. And every day we give this information out. We care. We want to make change to the world. So let's work together. Now, when you're getting in and you have now opened your actual account, it's going to then bring up the different packages that TradingView has. Now, this is the first thing you need to have a look at because what's quite important with this is you're basically going to look at the four different packages they offer and you're going to look and rate yourself as a, as a trader, as an investor. Now, when I'm saying that, I'm talking about rating yourself off of knowledge in the actual game. If you're coming straight in and you've just come into the market now, you know, starting off with the basic makes sense. You're going to dip your foot in the water. You're going to have a look how it works. It gives you the basic needs you need to start. It gives you one alert. It gives you two watch lists. Um, and it gives you three indicators to use. Okay. 
as you start progressing and you start getting more active in the actual market, you're then going to see that the next package, which is a pro package, you know, at, at, this is a tool. And what you've got to understand about a tool is you are trying to make money every day. You are entering a solo business where you are by yourself and you need to always make sure that your tool system is ranked with your actual skill level. So if you're starting to get quite good into the thing, like going up to the next level makes sense. Why? Because what it does for you is it gives you a lot more alarms, it gives you more indicators, and it gives you a lot more extras. And if you have a look here, you can see all the different extras that the packages give. Um, so I like to use a one out of 10 ratio. If you rate yourself one to three, basic is perfect for you. If you rate yourself, uh, rate yourself between three to five, pro is perfect for you. If you rate yourself between five and seven, pro plus, because that's even more alarms, as you can see over here. And then obviously you've got the premium package, uh, which is if you're a really, really good trader, you're an independent trader, a master of traders, if we can call it. So this is a nice way for you to look at. Don't, be honest with yourself, have a look and see what works best with you. It is a tool and it really, really helps um, with everything going forward. I think it's time to show the actual platform. Now we get to the juicy and the interesting parts. And guys, as you can see every day, I bring up these charts, right? And the reason for these classes as well, remember, is for you to identify when I'm doing stuff in the shows, you're able to replica that, you're able to use that as well and not get too confused. So the big major things that we're gonna use majority of the times in the show is these, these few things. So the first thing is definitely the time frame. When you start off, let me actually get this off here. When you actually start off, you're gonna see, you're gonna start off with just a daily one over here. And what you actually want is when we're working in, in the show and when I'm showing you every day, the main ones that I'm gonna be using is the 15 minutes, if things are really, really juicy, um, the one hour, the four hour and the daily. So you see these stars over here. You want to push those stars, get them highlighted up and what it does for you, it creates all your different times. I will soon do the next series or the next uh, show, which will explain timeframes in a lot more depth. The main thing is just setting it up. Secondly, candles. If you have a look at the second option over here, you want to make sure you are sitting in the candle section over there, as that's what we use on a daily basis. Uh, thirdly, if you go a bit more to the right, this is where you save your charts. So when you start drawing the lines with me and you start actually, you know, doing stuff what I'm doing on the show, you then want to make sure you're saving over here and you are able to put on an auto save. Uh, button as well, which makes sure that every minute or every time you've adjusted a chart, it auto saves for you as well. You then have this little camera if you ever want to say, uh, share some sort of charts. And then we move over to the right where you have a watch list. And this is something that I'm going to be going into a lot more depth, but it's very important because when you open your trading view, you're going to see a whole bunch of stocks. You're going to see a whole bunch of different coins. Um, oh, not coins, uh, different. Remember, this is not just crypto. It's also in the stock. So you want to erase all of that. You want to start with a brand new list. And as we mention coins every day, we will always give you guys the ticker and we always basically match it with a USDT, which is the US dollar stable coin in the crypto world. Now, if I want to add a coin, I'll go to this section over here. I'll make sure I'm under crypto. And as you can see, I'm going to use Bitcoin as an example. You're going to use the ticker of Bitcoin to the USDT pair, and then you can see it comes up with all the different exchanges that we are using. If you're trading it on Binance, if you're trading on KuCoin, you will select the one um, that you are obviously the exchange that you are trading on. So this is how you're going to be adding all of your coins and building the watch list as we go through all the coins. If we then have a look over here, we can then see how I can scroll up and down on the right over here, and this is the price of the actual coin. So then you can see right now, Bitcoin, $58,840. Um, yeah, $840. So this is how you detect the price. And if you scroll from left to right to right to left, you can see the dates at the bottom uh, and where the dates and definitely the times if you're going to shorter sort of time frames. Now, what's a very important thing is if you see this time box at the bottom over here, wherever you are in the world, make sure you are selecting this to the correct time frame that you are in. Um, just so that you don't get confused with the different timeframes and when we have the resetting of the charts. So make sure you have selected that. 
I'm doing UTC plus two because we're from South Africa. And thirdly, I will teach you log logarithmic at a later stage. You want to make sure that log is off for now. Um, and as we progress, I will teach you guys how log charts actually work. Then what we have on the left over here is the full tool column. So this is where we're going to be getting all of our drawing tools. We're going to be using a lot of different tools to help us predict price, breakouts, um, and also how to set alarms on those specific things. Remember why it's important to have alarms. Because secondly, you're able to put alarms on a break of trend, meaning I don't want to have to watch the screen the whole time. I don't want to have to continuously stare. I would rather set key level points for me, put an alarm there so I can go do my thing. And if anything big happens, I'll get triggered. It will get sent through to my email or to my messenger. And then I'm able to come and have a look. Something big is happening in the actual market. So this is where you're going to find all the little tools that I'm using in the show um, on the left over here. And then obviously, you know, putting it all together. Does it seem like a lot? It's a simple little thing just for you to start to understand how to identify what I'm looking for and how to find things in the actual show. So jumping back over here and why I want to just show this quickly on the actual packages and why it's so important. You know, when we're busy with our watch lists and that, you want to be able to create different lists for yourself. You know, you want to create your long-term lists, your medium-term, your short-term sort of lists. The problem is with the basic package is that you're only able to set two lists. So if you see over here, I'm only able to set a red list and a watch list. As you start upgrading, you're then able to add a lot more sort of lists. So you can sort of see that you need to be realistic with yourself, with your skill level. Do not shoot yourself in the foot on your, school, uh, your actual skill level. Just look what is actually needed for yourself. Get set up. I'm then going to get you very comfortable with how the actual platform works so that you can be using the shows every day to the 100% of potential and you're not confused yourself. So we jump over here. Okay, so this is the basic tutorial, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the show. There are many, many more videos to come. Make sure you've hit that like. Make sure you've hit that subscribe button. Remember, the trading view link is below. Um, if you are new or you, you are on the free channel, we are going to be looking at running massive specials for all of you. Be excited. We are about to launch the biggest and baddest masterclasses on this planet. And I'm very excited to be sharing all of my personal knowledge through these shows. Have a fantastic one. I will see you soon.